Hey, what's going on, P-Pixel pals? This is Panic Pixel. You can call me Christine. And today we are going to be unboxing the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod for compact system cameras. Now, Manfrotto is an Italian company that creates various tripods, big tripods, small tripods, so on and so forth. They created this uh, tripod in 2014, I think, considering that they won two awards for it. They seem to be quite a popular brand here in Hong Kong, considering that a lot of tech stores are selling their products. Uh, some of them sell this like completely overpriced. Some of them sell it for really cheap. The Apple store actually has these products in their store for iPhones. They, they have a photography kit, a photography kit that includes this and some clamps to put your iPhone on. And yeah, they seem to be quite reputable and quite popular in the city, so I decided to try out this brand. Also, because I needed a better tripod for my Canon 60, SX60HS, which I have over here. We'll be testing it out. We'll be testing out the tripod with this. And uh, we'll be making a comparison uh, between my old one and this new one over here. I bought this for 280 Hong Kong dollars, which is equivalent to 35.91 US dollars. I don't think it's, I mean, it's pretty pricey for a tripod, so this quality better be good. Uh, this tripod also comes in four different colors. It comes in this black one, a white one, a black and red one, and a black and pink one. The color appears over here for the black and red and the black and pink one, the pink and the red appears over here. And uh, looking at the back, uh, you can use this as a stand. You can also use it as a stabilizer for your camera. It has a bit of a swivel. You can swivel the top thing as you usually find on tripods. And it includes a lock function, which most tripods have, but this might be a little different since it's a clicky button. It's a Apparently compatible with compact system cameras, DSLRs with standard kit lens, compact cameras, and iPhone plus KLYP cases. Probably part of those um, those photography kits that I was talking about earlier on. So let's get to unboxing this mini tripod in black. Uh, it broke halfway. That's actually quite dangerous. Take this out. And the tripod itself. Alright, so in the box you get this thing that tells you about more great Manfrotto products. They have a case for the iPhone. They have compact tripod. That actually looks pretty good. Lumi LED lights. Ah, I have not seen that. And also bags. That's nice. They have a bunch of stuff here. And the obligatory warning stuff over here. And this case was actually protected with some cardboard at the back. I think that's pretty good. Because they didn't, like, become stingy on the packaging. That's actually pretty good packaging, apart from the fact that it kind of got torn apart as I was opening it up. Alright, so the tripod itself has a nice weight to it, so it can carry pretty heavy things. Okay, let's just put this down for a bit. Ah, so you have to press down in order to move it around. When you let go, it locks into place. Standing like this, press it down. It's actually quite sturdy. Okay, let's try this out with my... Canon SX60HS and see what happens. Alright, so we're back. I've put my Canon SX60HS on the Manfrotto tripod and I have put up one of those um, those free small tripods that come with uh, most camera purchases. I got this for free with my Canon SX60HS. And it's been doing pretty well for me, but then the articulation for it is not that great as you can see. This is the only part where you can kind of tilt it down and uh, movement itself, uh, you can, can show you. It's not that great. Also, it's very plasticky and I think I've kind of broken parts of this by spreading the legs too much. And uh, as you can see, the spread is not 
that great on it. Whereas the Manfrotto one, this is the lowest it can go, but it can also go up pretty high and still be able to carry the weight of my camera. And articulation, it can go many ways, and I think that's actually really good. It's pretty pricey for a tripod, but I think uh, it's reasonable uh, considering that larger tripods are hella expensive. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I think it's a uh, 35.91 US dollars well spent, even though I'm kind of poor right now after purchasing a bunch of camera equipment. I'm going to give you some test shots that I will be taking with my camera using this tripod, and you can see for yourself how great and sturdy it is. I'll also add in some videos as well. So we're first starting off with a video test using the Manfrotto Pixie Mini tripod and the auto mode on my large Canon SX60HS camera. As you can see on the screen, the video is very smooth and is very stable. The combined weight of the camera and the tripod helped record this decently stable footage. While I was holding the tripod by its legs, I never felt like the tripod would break, nor did I ever feel like my camera was in danger of falling off of it. The head holds my large camera really well, and the texture of the overall tripod creates a great grip. Impressive performance for the tripod size. Now we move on to the timer test. On screen, you now see me setting a timer to take a picture of the tiny bear on the table. I moved away from the camera to see how well it could stand on its own, and from what I saw, it held my camera of approximately 650 grams, that's 22.9 ounces, very well, without slipping. Again, the weight and the texture of the tripod contributed to this. I was never worried that the camera would go out of place. Strength can come in small sizes. After performing these tests, the quality of the tripod speaks for itself. Though more expensive than most small tripods, it certainly lives up to a great standard of quality. The button to lock and unlock the head is a bit difficult to press though, but other than that, I have no complaints on the tripod's make. But I do wish it were cheaper here in Hong Kong, since the 25 US dollars that it's selling for on Amazon seems like a much more reasonable price for the product than the 31 that I had to pay here. That said, I do recommend this product for beginner camera enthusiasts like me who are looking to get better results and stability without having to spend too much on larger gear or on continuously rebuying plastic tripods that break easily. So anyway, I hope you guys found this unboxing and review useful and informative. Do tell me in the comments below if you'd like to see some certain types of products reviewed, and I'll do my best to get them on the channel. Thank you for watching this video, and have a pleasant day.